We're going through the same thing. There's more of a focal point in terms of how the colors work. Because I know, I, I mean, the feeling that I got was that you were concerned about being bigger. Yeah. Um, but for me, like this one and those two, like, I mean, it's, I like them all, but those three stand out for that reason. That's not like criticism, really, but just observation. Are you enjoying this? I am, I am. I'm more, I mean, I think the thing is, is that going bigger has been a challenge. Because you're working with space. Right? So, but I'm getting used to it. Yeah, and how do the same gestures work? Exactly. Do they, yeah, occupy like this? Let's see a friend so of mine. So he wants to interview me, but so I don't know what he I want to ask you a little bit about your technique and what's your influence. Because it's classic abstract to me. So can you step over here for just a second and tell me what what was your inspiration in this piece? Um, so step being, over close to the light. Be in the light. Be in the light. Think of yourself as a rock star, okay? You want light. All right. So, so basically, I mean, I work with... Close to your work. Close to your work. There we go. Thank I you. work with space mm -hmm. and color and movement. Mm -hmm. And so my intention is really just to convey those feelings. Mm -hmm. um, my family's from the Caribbean. And Which part? So from Haiti. Mm -hmm. and, and, and I would say Haitians are known for bright colors. Yeah. So in a lot of like the work that I do, I think you'll see influences of that in the work. And I've traveled extensively throughout Africa, Latin America. And I think these are places that are combined with memory. So they're not landscapes per se. I like to refer to them as dreamscapes um, because they're really a combination of sort of an emotion, a remembrance of a feeling, mm -hmm. and actual places. So they're dreams. I mean, dreams are abstract right. yeah. in a lot of ways. Yeah. Exactly. And they cloud over and sometimes you can't remember them. Exactly. Okay. So what is this dream about? Well, I don't know. I mean, when I paint, they just, when I paint, they just come through me. I mean, I see myself really as a medium. I work with a palette knife, I work with a brush, and, you know, I do a lot of blending on the canvas itself to get that effect. So yes, but that's commonplace. I mean, I have to tell you, it's not that there's something uniquely new about your technique. It's classic. I mean, it's been done for a long, long, long time. But I know it seems personal to you. But what I'm asking you is, what about those particular strokes represents the dream that you have? What is it, when someone asks you, what does that yellow represent? Or what is that section? What were you thinking when well, you... Well, so, both of these are about transition. Mm -hmm. I mean, in terms of where I was personally, mm -hmm. these are about transition in terms of where I am in my life. So I'm going from practicing law, being a lawyer, to being a painter. And so a lot of them, you'll see, for example, this one, it's sort of you're emerging out of it. Right? So you sort of, you have this process of being covered, and then this process of sort of emerging through, and it's the same one with this one. So Tell me about this one. We step over it's here. It's the same thing. Come on over here. You have to embrace the camera. This is publicity. So do not be shy. Be in front of your work. Let everyone see you. The light's coming from this door. You got to seize the moment. Okay? So take it.